and now I go to the flow sheet screen. I can I like to add the the two the model palette at my right side. I like to have as much space as possible to do the process simulation. So usually I I hide auto hide this all these options. I will do the same with the WC. So we have a lot of space to do the process simulation. And according to the according to to the process flow diagram, what I have is uh, vessel separator. So in the WC, you can see that the the tab to to add the the objects is in the bottom of the process simulation. And this this layout is very very similar to Aspen Plus. Aspen Plus has the same layout as it is and uh, the, the options may be different and in the future some, maybe we can do a video about that. And the Aspen High Seas, this is the classic one. In the UNIC it's very very similar although you cannot attach to your process simulation. So let's start with the Aspen High Seas. I click one time to highlight the object and I bring to the process simulation. In the DWC, it's a little bit different. I choose the, the tab and I need to let, if I, I click just one time, I am not able to bring it to my process simulation. I need to click and hold. When I click and hold, I can bring this to my process simulation. It's uh, as I, I am used to Aspen High Seas, sometimes it's, uh, I forget about that, but it's a small issue. Uh, once you get familiar with that, it's, uh, it's nothing that you need to worry about. One thing about, uh, interesting about uh, the WC is that when you click on the equipment, it automatically uh, opens a uh, submenu and you are able to, to connect, uh, create and connect automatically streams to the equipment. So I have a one LED stream and if I click in this ray, you will see that the one material stream is created. And I have also the vapor stream. So let's create this. And we have the light liquid stream also. And you'll see that the, the, the WC already converted and we'll see why in a few minutes. And to do a zoom, zoom out or a zoom fit, you have this option here, zoom out. And this way it fits to your, to your screen and it's better when you are having a, a big process simulation and etc. The Aspen High Seas, doesn't have this option of automatic attachment, but you have many ways to, to add attachment uh, in, the, in, the equipment, uh, in the equipment. The first thing you can, uh, from this, this, this uh, screen or this menu, you can consider the type, the na name of the streams, and with that, the Aspen High Seas will create that for you. So I will do this way. There are other ways to add uh, material streams to, to, the, to the flow sheet. But let's do this way to have the same name for both. And uh, one interesting thing is that we are considering that we have a heat exchanger or electrical heater inside the inside the, the vessel separator. So in this in this way, I need to add a source of energy heating up the content that is inside the, the vessel separator. So here the DWC has the option to add an energy stream to the equipment, so let's do that. So it is attached to the WC, and I will do the same for the Aspen High Seas. And you can see that is, it is an option, because if it was a standard process uh, vessel separator, I don't, I don't need to do that. 
Okay, so in the high span high seas, my equipment was uh, added and the information is available, but it, it didn't convert it because it's the way that the high span high seas works here is different from the WC. Every time that I add a stream or at least uh, at least the uh, I stand alone stream in the the DWC, it already loads uh, uh, some information to the process condition. So you can see that I didn't type 25 Celsius degree, I didn't type 1 HCM bar uh, pressure, I didn't type the mass molar of volumetric flow to my to my process simulation, but DWC already loaded that and it he the process simulator always do this way. And the composition, it already assumes what are the composition of the stream. In this case, it match, matches with what we have in the presentation, but I can clear this and let I can clear this and I can type by my own. Okay, so once you did this, click in accept changes. In the Aspen High Seas, it is different. All streams comes with the without information. We need to add information little by little in order to be able to convert the, the streams. So let's start. I like when I have the composition of the fluid, I like to start with the composition. So we have the composition and it is molar basis. And you can see that the Iceman High Seas helps you to, to, to add the information that is missing. So let's go to conditions. And now I will inform the temperature that is 10 Celsius degree. And I need to inform the pressure is 164 uh, millimeters Hg. And the flow for this moment, I will consider one mol per second. So this way, the Aspen High Seas converted. And what happens in the Aspen High Seas is that when you have a blue light color, it means that your stream is not converted. It's missing some kind of information. And when you have a dark blue, it means that it will all information needed to 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 calculate the properties of the the the, the stream was already added so this is the way and now i i will i went to the equipment and if i go to worksheet i have all the streams that are attached to the equipment so i can do some adjustment directly here Instead of going to the uh, mass stream two and do some changes here, and after that I go to uh, mass, uh, mass, uh, mass stream three and etc. So let's go to worksheet. And what I have according to my to my problem is that I heating up this fluid up to 50 Celsius degree. So I will do that, and the Aspen High Seas did all calculations, and now I have the, the system converge, converged as we have in the WC. Uh, a point that uh, you, can, you, you can see that the pressure is already in millimeters per Hg, and it was because I'm doing this, I, I tried to, to Proceed to verify if the calculations will be uh, would be correct. Okay, so I did set it the system of units of my process. But if it was in a different system of units, you can go to unit set, and you can change the units of your package. We can, for instance, I can copy this this one, the new users for. I can copy and I can uh, name it in process 
and I can do adjustment in the fluid in the system of units in order that every time that I, I deal with this customer I will use this uh, system of units if I have another another customer I can change my system of units and etc so it's an interesting way as we have in the DWC the difference is that in the WC, after you choose the fluid per, uh, per, uh, package, you are invited to define your system of units. In the Aspen High Seas, you can do in the inside the flow sheet, or you can go to the, the options also and define that there. So let's see, uh, now uh, let's adjust the WC. So I don't have the inlet temperature as 25 Celsius. I have it as 10 Celsius degree. So my pressure is not 1, 1 atm. My pressure is 164. And my the, the flow that I have is not mass flow. It's not volumetric flow. It is molar flow. So Based on that, you, we are not able to see any kind of, uh, of differences in the process simulation at the first sight, but we know at least that it continues to conversion because we have all blue. When we don't have the conversion, the streams, uh, when something missing in the stream, it is uh, uh, red, and when something is not wrong, is not correct, it goes to, to black, okay? So, and now to define the outlet temperature of the stream, we'll go to the equipment and we will override the information of temperature because it is the conditions that should be considered inside the equipment. So if I, uh, I check this override separator temperature, I can define what will be the operating temperature in the equipment. So it was considering 25 Celsius, that was the, the previous information when we load the, the DWC, and now I will consider as 50 Celsius degree. So we did that, and I will not override the pressure, I will consider the pressure of the the mass stream one and another thing that is interesting in the DWC is that for each object you can select what is the proper package you can see that I have I am inside the separator I have the whole out law I have the uh, the stream one I can select the proper package I have the same for the the outlet and uh, we'll do some changes here to verify if it's possible to use different fluid package in different objects. In the Aspen High Seas, we, we, in, as a standard, we don't define the, we don't define the, sorry, we, in the, I, I never change it because uh, we the in the Aspen High Seas the what are in the inlet stream should matches with are uh, at the outlet streams in terms of fluid package and here in the equipment you have the the option to to change also okay I thought that it was not a change because I did I never uh, change that but you have it also so uh, in few minutes we will verify what happens if we change in one and if we change in the other. And the to change the fluid properties in the, in the stream, we type two times and fluid package. So it will load the fluid package that was loaded during the, the basis definition. So here we have the Antonois and the Aspen High Seas uh, fits everything with the same fluid package because it would make sense at the first sight. 
So it's equivalent, both of them are equivalent, there are no changes between that.